If you're trying to access one of your drives on your computer only to find that it is missing, we are going to help you. The drive didn't magically disappear from your computer. It's just that Windows cannot recognize it for some reason. But let's look at the solutions now. Scan your computer for viruses. A virus could be the reason why you can't see one of your drives on Windows. So why not run a scan? For this, open the Start menu and select Settings. Click on Update and Security. And then select Windows Security in the menu. Among the many protection areas, click on Virus and Threat Protection to open the scan window. Click on the Scan options to view the three options including a Quick Scan, Full Scan and a Custom Scan. Select the desired option and tap Scan Now to run a manual scan. Windows Security Defender will scan your computer for malware and return the details of the scan. The integrated tool also allows you to take action against the threats. You can remove, restore, block or quarantine a threat using Windows Defender. Change driver's name. Sometimes a glitch can cause Windows to no longer recognize the drive. For changing the driver's name, press Windows plus E to open File Explorer. Use the left pen to navigate to this PC. Right click on your drive and select Rename. Specify a new name for your drive and press Enter. Click on Continue. Update the disk's driver. If the driver of your disk driver is outdated, it can cause it to go missing on your computer. The perfect way to find the outdated driver and update it is using a smart software like Advanced Driver Updater. You can go for manual method too, but it's a long and time consuming method. Download Advanced Driver Updater in your PC and let it scan the computer. Once done, it shows you all the outdated drivers and you can just click Update on for the update. Look for conflicting software. There could be an app, program or driver that is interfering with the recognition of your drive on Windows. To root it out, try performing a clean boot of your Windows which loads the least amount of programs and drivers and see if the drive shows up. Go to the Start menu search bar, type in msconfig and select System Configuration from the results. Switch to the Services tab and select Hide All Microsoft Services and click on Disable All. Go to the Startup tab and select Open Task Manager. Now, one by one, disable each app under the Startup tab. Go back to Startup tab in System Configuration and select OK. With that, you must also check if the drive is working properly. For an external drive, try connecting it to a different USB port or using a different cable to see if it works. If your drive is internal, you'll have to open up the PC to check the connections and see if any are faulty. So that's it for today's video. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.